years later, here I am, have uh, as an international speaker, I'm an award-winning author, and most of my work is done as a workplace well-being strategist. I work with organizations to help them create their strategy for creating a culture of well-being in their workplace. Great. And I come from a business background. I spent my entire career in business. Yeah. So when I came to this field, I knew all about the business side. I just needed to learn about the well-being side and mm. did that as well. Because and which is interesting because it does does mean that whole um, being able to to build culture into a um, you know well-being culture into a business that's kind of the background we came from and I find that that's the space that I tend to um, you know gravitate towards as well. Mm. Fabulous, that's great. Nice to meet you too, Joseph. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm Joe Maroon. I'm a neurosurgeon at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, and. Uh, also the team physician for the Pittsburgh Steelers. For those in New Zealand, you probably never heard of the Steelers. You've heard <laughs> no. of the New Zealand blacks or whatever. <laughs> the Australian, the Australian, yeah. But, Being from Boston, I've heard of the I've heard of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So. You you've heard of them. And I've heard of you guys a lot. Yeah. You've, you've been our nemesis for the last several years, keeping us out of the Super Bowl. Well, don't worry about that. That's not going to happen this year. <laughs> We're not even in it this year. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I uh, wrote a book entitled Square One, A Simple Guide to a Balanced Life. So I'm presumptuously going to uh, tell individuals who are at the symposium about stress, the physiological effects of stress on the body and the brain the bi-directional connection between the mind and the body, how the mind makes the body sick, and also how the body can heal the mind and uh, prevent, pre present a formula for work-life balance, which goes right to where you are, Marie. Yeah, that's fabulous. Well, nice to meet you, Joe, and uh, love to, to learn more about your book. Um, I forgot to mention what my session is on about next week. So I'm doing a, an ideation session. On, it's called the Workplace of the Future. And I'll ask the participants in four different thinking spaces to come up with ideas of what they think are the most important elements of the workplace of the future. And then for them to vote on it at the end. So it's a, very, it's a highly interactive session. So if you're available and can come to my session, I'd love to have you there. I look forward to it. Thanks. So Joyce, is there going to be, uh, I'll go ahead. Someone that's going to check us in, so to speak, next Friday so that we make sure our presentations are uploaded correctly and all that. Can't hear you, Joyce. My apologies. There you go. Okay. So one of the things that we will do uh, next week going forward is uh, for this is to ensure that you guys are up and running smoothly is to, um, I wanted to just go through the agenda uh, a little bit with you today. Uh, one of the things to notice is that for each uh, speaking topic, you, uh, there is gonna be a five minute break between your talk. So I'm just gonna share um, the agenda with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, one of the things that help us to run smoothly uh, in the summit is that we have that break time for turnover. So as you will see here, we have either a five minute or, or 10 minute break between each section. Each session. Once you have that break time, you can then come in. Uh, we would like you to break your um, <clears throat> Look at the day that you're speaking and come in at that time. So you're coming in during that break time. We'll be at the back to help you to set up and make sure that everything is 
ready to go so that when that 10 minute break is over, you are ready to run. So that's how we've set up the session. So between every session, there is a break, either a stretch break or uh, some kind of break so that uh, we're not just going back to back. So there is that time where the other speaker exits and the, uh, the new speaker comes on so that you, we have that time, but also it's the time that people need to run to the bathroom and so forth. You don't want them running through your session. It's good that they have that time break so they can be running to the bathroom or they do what they need to do. So. If you go through each day's agenda, you will notice that there is a, uh, a little bit of break, uh, a 10 minute break, sometimes a 15 minute break in and before your session. So we would like you to come on during that time. So if you're in the session already, that's fine. Uh, you would just message us. If you, for instance, if you come in and you wanted to go through the, uh, so Marie, you're speaking on day three. So you come in right. and you want to listen to Dr. Tyler's um, speaking and patients does her, her presentation or breathing and then you would be there for that so you we would just you would just message us and confirm Joyce I'm here and then because we're going to have quite a few people in the room and we may not, not know exactly all who is there so you would just send us a speaking and we will talk to you via chat uh letting us know that you're on and uh and then of course we will make sure you get your presentation set up and, and get you ready to go so Joyce, are, what platform are you using? Are you using Zoom or something else? We are going to use Zoom for the platform and then it's Zoom is then, then distributed through our, um, our YouTube channel. So okay, once so, Zoom, once so Zoom you're live, you're live cast it, you're doing a simultaneous live cast. Yes, yeah. so once Zoom has uh, a thousand people, everybody else will, will have to go through um, YouTube. And so, are, are you going to be sending us some links for that? Because oh, I haven't yes. received any. I don't have any oh, in yes. my calendar. Absolutely. Uh, okay. But I wanted everyone to be here. Uh, this session is recorded, by the way, so that those who are not here will see and have the same information. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because as you know, we're very busy. So we're not able to be doing individual emails for everyone. Uh, we try to make sure we send out a mass email so everyone gets the same information. So we'll also send this uh, uh, this this recording out so that everyone would have seen it. So what what you will receive from from us later today is a link uh, to your day session to the uh, for the session. So each day have a different link Zoom link. So day one will have its own session. Day two will have its own session. Day three will have its own uh, session link. And then uh, we will also uh, be giving you that information. So you can come in um, and be part and attend any of the sessions that you choose to. Because as you go through the calendar, you may, the agenda, you might see a session or two you want to attend as well. I know some speakers are planning on, on attending uh, many of the sessions. So, so you will have that. And what we do before each session, there will be an email, automated email going out to everyone on the list uh, in the morning, uh, day one is the pre-summit. So the pre-summit is starts at 10 a.m. It's a roundtable uh, discussion session. It's it's a panel. So that day goes from 10 to 3. So we have an uh, email will go out in the morning to everyone on the list with the link, reminding them what it's all about and to come out. Then in the afternoon, when we take a lunch break, then they will get another email at lunch break. Uh, reminding them to join back on. And so we've set it up that way so that everyone, uh, so there'll be reminders and, and the participants will uh, be prompted because you know what it is on like people, <laughs> online people get busy. Um, and uh, because the session is free, of course, there, there may uh, be a little bit lagging to attend. So attendance is always the, the challenge. You'll have lots of people register. It's, it's getting them excited to attend and to be there. So that so we have those set up and, and you'll be on the list too, so you can get those same prompts as well. Thanks. Are you going to be having a technician, an AV technician, when we check in to make sure that things get uploaded and shared correctly? We will be at the back doing that. Uh, Amina will be here. Uh, Misan will be here. Uh, and then I'll be, of course, uh, checking in as well to make sure that 
your PowerPoint. If you want to send your PowerPoint to us before, we would really appreciate that. If you have a PowerPoint and you want to send it to us by email, uh, go ahead and do so. We can do that. And then we can give you uh, we can give you control of the screen so you can share it at the time you're ready, you're ready to do it. That tend to work a lot smoother uh, because um, you're not struggling trying to wonder if your PowerPoint works at that time. We can have everything loaded and then we just make you the presenter at the time of the session. Excellent. That tends to work a lot smoother for, uh, for the presenters, especially when you're coming in within five, 10 minute time slots. And we just send that to you. Yes, you can send it to me. You guys all have my email address. Okay, so thank we'll you. We'll just have it scheduled so that um, it comes Good. out. Good. Make it part of the program. So Joyce, it, can you, I just want to make sure I understand. So the, sli the slides are going to be hosted somewhere else and yet we will still be able to control them by your making us presenter. I'm not following. Yes, if you send us your slide, we will put them up. We will load them up on Zoom for you. We'll make sure that it all fits and it loads up for you. And then once your time, we will just give you, you will look for, we'll send you an invitation uh, on Zoom once you're there that, and you will just accept to be. So for instance, uh, Mari, I'm going to make you, I'm gonna make you host right now. So you will see what that looks like. Right, so I'm familiar with being host, but I usually control the slides on my desktop. You will be doing that. So okay. once I give you, once I give you control, okay, uh, you can go ahead and accept it. Did you accept? Yeah. Your button. Yeah. So then you would be able to. So move your mouse, and then you will see you would be able to. You notice you are the one moving it now. Right. Yeah. Um. So so on my session, I'm using two things. I'm going to use PowerPoint, and I'm using an interactive tool. So it wouldn't work necessarily for me. I'm doing something other than just PowerPoint slides. So I, I need to be controlling that all from my desktop. Okay, then that's fine. You don't need to send us your PowerPoint. You okay, all right. If you're well, not familiar and you need that help from us, send it off. If you okay, if you're yeah, no, no, that that wasn't. I need to be controlling it because I I perfect. go out to an audience interaction tool where we create where the audience creates the answers. Um, will there be someone who can capture, so in the session that I'm doing, it's an ideation session. So the audience is going to create the answers to the questions. I need someone to capture the top three and put them into the chat. And then at the end, I need them, you know, I need them to be building a poll question that we can use at the end. Is there someone who can run that for me? If you have a poll question, yes, we can we can have those embedded in your session for your time. The poll question, the, the answers to the poll question will be generated by the audience during the session. So I need someone paying attention, capturing those and typing them into the poll question. So you would want to have poll questions created after your during the session. During the session. Right. So if I asked all of you in the, you know, in culture, in the workplace, what would be the top influencing elements from culture in the workplace that will influence well-being? You give me your answers. We see that build on the screen and then we're going to pick the top three. So those top three need to go into this poll that's being built in the background by someone who, you know, some assistant. Can I make a suggestion? The easiest way to get the top answer is by having a poll. So by if you do the poll, you can see the three because then you're going to ask the person to scroll and look at hundreds of answers to know which one is the first. No, we don't do it in chat. We do it in a word cloud in, an, in a different application. Oh, okay. Let me, do you want me to show you? Absolutely. And for anybody else who's never done this with interactive, can I share my screen? Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing yeah, what you use. Actually, <laughs> yeah, it's a, actually it's a really it's a really fun. Let me just get to the place I need to be. This is a very fun audience. Um, I did this on a um, on a recent uh, national presentation here in the U.S. 
and I'll show you the answers that came up here. Yeah, I we might all start using that too, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so here, um, let me just um, share my screen. So this seems a little bit complicated. So Joyce, you need to, can you? Um... You have mouse control, don't you? I need to stop the control. I need to stop sh your sharing. I think only you can do that. There we go, thank you. And then I need to be able to be, I need sharing enabled. So this was a really fun session when I did it a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I'll show you the questions that I ask and how the audience responds. Um, you have sharing capacity now. Thank you. Okay, so this is, you can see this. Mm -hmm. So this is a tool called Mentimeter and it is an audience polling technique. Mm -hmm. So I will have this question appear on the screen. So I give a little bit of background and then I say, how can technology support employee health and well being?" And the employees go to, at the top of the screen, you'll see where it says menti.com. So I need someone to type that into the chat and then with this code number, everybody can either on their phone or they can follow the link from the chat and they come in here and they can type three words, right? Three separate entries. So the word cloud builds as people are typing this in and how many okay, entries. So let's try it now. Um, so if I go on my phone and I go to this place, there's a couple of us trying because uh, if I need to be uh, share it with the people who are doing audiovisual. I want to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can write out the very specific instructions of what I need to have happen when. Okay, so we go to. So if you go to menti.com, everybody can try this if you want. Of course, why not? <laughs> menti.com. And, and it, um, it's going to say join a presentation. So you enter the number 59150000. So it's ask us our name. Do we supposed to do that? Nope. You should go to menti.com. Should just ask you to present, to enter a code number. Okay. So here it's asking me complete this form to get a quote. Okay, so that's their pop up. So we need to make sure we tell the audience that when they go, because what I first get, does anyone get the same thing? Did anyone else try it? Uh, yep, I've already done mine. Um, yeah, I can go straight through to the questions. Um, so this is fine. Okay, so it didn't offer, it didn't, um, it didn't ask you to purchase. So you see how, so Joyce, Notice how it's changing. So as we're typing these in, the cloud is changing and moving. And what happens- uh, We've still got that original one that you put up um, rather than the, the one that I, we've just entered, for example, or, or have we? Oh, it's in this question, this same question, is it? Yeah, see how it's moving? Okay. Okay. So, so what, okay, so when they go, so it's almost like Slido to, to some to a certain extent. Slido well, is something similar. Yeah, I, I am not familiar with that tool. Yeah, and I mean, so very similar. what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the top three from this. So let's say based on the size of this, it looks like flexibility, communication, and connection are the top three. So I need the person to type those into chat so everybody can see those were the top three for technology. And then they also need to type it into the, the, the poll that we're gonna use at the end. So when we do this, then we go to the next question, right? So then we go to how does environment, how does the built environment support employee well-being? Then we go to the next one, which is, how does culture support employee health and well being? And so we do this four times. And the last one is employee experience. So we're going to collect 12 of these answers. And the last piece is we then use this to say, all right, we've got these 12 things that you said were really important in the workplace of the future. Now you need to pick one. What's it going to be? 
Okay, so I just want to be clear that because Amina, you're on here, right? You're capturing this. So I just want to be clear. How do we know which answers are the top ones? Because I'm going to read them out loud. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. provide all and these. The ones that are the biggest. Okay. So, so, so the person that's monitoring this will have to go into menti.com to nope. and put in that number or nope. you just they don't have to they don't have to go to minty i'll control all of that all they have to do is capture the three words that come from each of the the four questions oh so you're those, going to say the three words that come up yeah and then all you need us to do is just to capture those three words uh for each question and mm -hmm. just create a list okay no it needs to go into a poll so that we can launch the poll at the end in Zoom. So did you want us to create a poll then? Or are you going to create the poll? No, you have that's to do that. I, I'm talking, so I can't That's that. what I'm asking yeah. you because that's that's yeah. very that's very distinct. Okay. Yes. So creating yeah. a poll, a poll is something uh, you have to create. Joyce, before. I'm sorry to interrupt, Joyce, but is there anything else you need me for? Um so are you going to send me a presentation? I'm going to send you my presentation. Perfect. So once you send me a presentation, that will be fine. I will also send the links out today and make sure everybody gets the link of where you need to link Thank you. For, for the session. And then um, that's it. Did you have okay. any free downloads that you want to send out to the audience or you want them to take? I know you have your book for sale. One of the other options we have is a freebie. That one of the things that Maybe you have a free PDF or free ebook or a summary or something that you want us to put a link to in what we call a free swag bag that will get people back to your website. Okay, thank you all very much. Looking forward to it. Nice to meet you, Joe. I have another all right. thing Bye -bye. I have to do. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Joe. Okay, so Marie, um, polling usually the polls are set up prior to the Zoom call. They don't have to be though. They can be set up during this call. Okay, so let's try that. Well, we don't have to do that for everybody else. No, no. Well, it's going to come up on the set that is going to show. I'm good. We just want to make sure that when we go poll questions, that um, are you guys seeing anything on my screen? We're not seeing oh. your screen. No, you're not seeing poll questions on my screen. Okay, good. We just want to make sure that, that it's clean because I don't I don't want to have that interrupting. Okay, good. So we won't be able, so they won't see it. Okay, we've never done the poll inside of the questions before. We usually do we set them up before. Okay, so that's doable. Okay. Great, thanks. And I'll send all the detailed instructions so that it's it's really clear. All right. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate your flexibility. You learned on that. something today. <laughs> Fun session. I okay. Hope you'll join me. Oh, of course, of course. Um, so uh, the rest of you who have Alex, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, yes, I'm Alex and uh, I'm a digital wellbeing uh, coach. So I'll be doing a session on day three. And uh, yeah, look forward to joining you. And um, I'll be the same as Mary. Um, I'll, I can um, manage my screen and was planning to use Menti as well. So, um, so, so yeah, I'm happy to take care of that. But yeah. Excellent. Great. <clears throat> and Amina, you, you're showing your face. I think everybody here has had some connection with you. <laughs> So are you going to talk? We can't hear you. Down every. You can't hear me. Oh. I don't know. Well. It's very faint. Yeah, we can barely hear you and your, and your mute is off. Your mute is on. You have to turn mute off. Hello, everyone. It's very nice to meet you, meet you all. I guess you can hear me now. Yes, I, I can yes. see the smiles on your faces. <laughs> So I am making points on every concern and I was thinking that we can go uh, through any uh, practices that you want to do that we haven't, you know, we aren't used to, like Marie was explaining. So once I get the instructions, I would be, you know, trying to set it up before the presentation so, so that I can smooth up the process and I can handle it well. So no problems with that. We can certainly adopt to anything that you guys would bring into the program. No, 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 we don't want anything. We, <laughs> we don't want to stress ourselves. Not everything. It's <laughs> so let's keep it to a limit here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Well, I'll be here. We, we, we don't mind learning new things. <laughs> yeah. And Sabina has been, of course, my right hand. She's been just amazing managing the project behind the scenes. So good that you guys get to meet her. I wish Thanks that more people your could help. actually join. I had so many questions. Um, and, uh, and it's sad because we don't have time to be answering all these individual questions. We're trying to run a summit. We have 30 people. And so we don't have the capacity to be answering all these uh, individual questions. So I try to do the mass mail out and I try to do this session so people can actually participate, get all their questions answered. Uh, one of the things that we do, Maria, you're going to have a free giveaway or something like that for the summit. So what I usually do is I provide the results after the fact. So um, I usually have them. My last slide has a text to number. Okay. And, you know, if they text to me, then I get their email addresses and then I can send them to a page where that information is contained. Perfect. All right. Good. Excellent. So that's a good, uh, that's a good thing. I use, I use Slido sometimes with, uh, with my presentations. So. Yeah, I know. I'm not familiar with that tool. I'll check it out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's similar to, to Menti to some extent. Uh, Alex, you are the, um, the tech, tech person on here. You, are you familiar with Slido as well? I, I, I believe it does have a lot of the same functionality as Menti, yeah. um, but I've, yeah. uh, I've used Mentimeter myself, so I haven't actually used Slido, but um, I believe it can do the word clouds and the polls, and um, yeah. so I, think it, I think it's quite similar, but don't know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're very similar, but it's always nice to learn another one. There's There are so many tools out there, like, you know, some people like this and some people like that. And, so how's the mood on the ground and how many people do you have joining live during the session? Well, we don't know how many people are going to join, but we know we have 2,500 people registered. Wow, that's great. Congratulations. So, so we'll that's see. <laughs> we'll see how many people show up for the free session. So and then, of course, um, there are some people off my list that will probably show up too from there. So. Oh, fantastic. And you have people in person as well. Is that right? No, no. Uh, we thought we could, but with our restrictions now, um, the only person I can have, um, we can, we're only allowed five people, a maximum uh, okay. in one place. Most of the venues are closed down. All the bars and restaurants are closed. Yeah. Uh, so when we initially, the summit was supposed to be live in California. Then we thought, okay, we would blend it. And then, and now we're totally, totally, um, because I also was uh, planning to have a venue here locally uh, in Winnipeg and have, you know, maybe 20 people in the audience or so, but no, uh, we are, we're actually, no, we're, we're definitely here. running it. Uh, virtually so yeah it's uh it's the times we're living in and you know we just have to deal with it <laughs> indeed, and indeed. work with it and, and make ourselves you know happy and convenient with it thank god for technology and we have the capacity to be able to to do that hi anna hi hello i'm sorry i'm late it's that's okay late. who is that who is that little visitor this is Tim. This is my son, and uh, he's yeah. yeah, he's a bit well, tired. It's seven thirty here in Germany. So I can imagine. This is mommy time. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, go ahead and introduce yourself. Welcome. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So I am uh, Anna, and uh, I am a leadership consultant, and ha also have a career platform, and. Uh, I'm not always late like now, sorry. My husband could not be here this evening. So this is why I have unexpectedly to take care of my son. And I am looking forward to the summit, yeah. yeah absolutely. Well, having you too. He looks like he wants to do his own business. You're disturbing him. <laughs> yeah, so will you have a recording of the call? I'd, I'd like to. Yes. Yes, we will. Okay, so then I'll uh, I'll listen to the recording because I think now is not a good time for a little yes. kids. Okay. I'll have That's to go. So sorry right. to have interrupted. That's <laughs> okay. okay. It was good to meet him. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>
Joyce, will anybody be introducing us at the beginning of our sessions? Yes, you'll be introduced. Okay. Yeah. Right. And uh, does somebody host uh, questions as well? Is there somebody who um, keeps an eye on the chat? And We're going to be monitoring the chat because I will be monitoring the chat. Um, Amina will be, Nisan will be, uh, will be monitoring the chat. And uh, some of the other volunteers will be monitoring the chat as well. So I know Jaleel will be there um, and Deb will be monitoring the chat and uh, bringing up questions to me because, and the other thing to one of uh, a really good strategy, you know, when you ask, are there any questions? And uh, you can't see the participants necessarily. Um, we, we try to keep the videos limited because to maintain bandwidth. Right, because we we are streaming and we have you know a hundreds, hopefully thousands of people on there, and so we need to maintain the bandwidth. So we are going to um, discourage videos as much as possible. So you're only going to be seeing uh, me or whoever is introducing you when I come up with a question. So you don't get to see their faces and the expressions, you know than if it was a smaller group. Well, maybe for some of the sessions, it might be a smaller group. And if it's smaller, we'll, we'll let people, you know, ask them to undo their videos so you can see them because that's, those are always richer and more uh, personable. Um, so when you ask if there is no questions, um, always come prepared with one question that you get commonly asked. So um, you can, when we say time, when it's time for your questions, so just, you know, that 10 minute part, uh, we'll message you, let you know that, you know, uh, you're coming up to your, uh, your question period. And then uh, you can just say, one of the questions I, I most commonly get asked is, and you can uh, pose the question and then give the answer and then ask, are there additional questions? Does anyone else um, have, have heard of this or, or have something similar they want to ask? Because nobody wants to be the first to ask the question. So, and then we will try to, I'll try to ask a question or get someone else uh, from our team to ask a question as well to, to get the questions flow. So if we can start it or you have a question or you want to send a question to us and say, you know what, this is a question we get commonly asked, we can, we can help out with that just to make it more interactive. Right. Yes. Will, we be, will there be um, somebody's cell phone that you can give to us, either Joyce or Amina's? Yes. So I will send my cell phone. Just in case, uh, you know, like something goes wrong. And <laughs> yes, I will send my cell phone out um, uh, to to everyone. Right. Um, in uh, in the in the I don't know how good it's going to be for the people in Europe, but uh, you can always WhatsApp me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You've got a way to contact you. Right. Mm -hmm. So the sessions are now one hour rather than an hour and a half. Is that correct? Oh yeah, the sessions are all uh, one hour slots. So 45 yeah. minutes, one hour slots is what people have for their sessions. Uh, we think the first 45 minutes, because it's because it's um, online, when we have our live uh, conferences, our speakers have 90 minutes. When we bring new speakers online, we notice that people's attention span is so okay. short. They tune out after 20 minutes. So except you're doing something and cartwheels and have them doing stuff, or you're doing stuff like Menti and you're back and forth, you're going to lose them. So you have to have things that they can be doing um, every 15 minutes at least, or every 10 minutes, try to engage your, your audience with something. Uh, if it's a question you're going to ask them, what's most important for you? Or how, did, how does that feel for you? Or is this something that you've experienced? How many of you experienced this? Type yes in the chat. You know, those kinds of things, are, you have to be really, really key on them. I teach on online all the time, long before COVID. <laughs> so it just comes naturally to me. But those are some of the observations. Very different when I'm in the classroom live because I can see them. I can, you know, I can just walk over closer to their table and just stand close. So use body language as much as possible. But when we're online, we don't have that control. So we have to really be very conscious on how we're going to keep them engaged, keep them involved and, and get them uh, to participate in the sessions. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Yes. 
All right. Well, those those of you. So uh, Anna came from Belgium. No, where's she? Germany. Anna was from Germany. Joe is from Australia. Oh no, New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Uh, Alex is from England. And yep. where are the North Americans? <laughs> I'm in <laughs> I'm not seeing any of a Canadian or North American speaker. Oh, US speaker, except Marie. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> The lovely mix you have, a very nice mix. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, we have someone from Australia as well. Um, uh, last year we had people, um, we had speakers from Ireland. Did we have someone from Asia? Or, um, I think we had someone from India. Uh, so we, every year we try to expand and try to get more people because it's global and we want to have more of a global focus on the summit. So as you know, we're day one, we're going to, it's our pre-summit, it's a shorter day, it's all hands-on, it's uh, the big mind piece, it's eradicating systemic racism. Of course, I have a very tall order <laughs> and putting my group on to work and uh, it's gonna be a very interactive session. Uh, we're gonna be exploring some of those pieces around some of the side effects of those and, and to health and wellness. Um, then um, day two, we're going to mental health. Uh, day three, we are focusing on the wellness culture because we know wellness programs don't work. Uh, we really need to encourage organizations to adopt wellness culture because programs are something that people could choose to participate in or not, but culture is very pervasive and allows for uh, a much more uh, broader uh, impact so that everyone does somehow uh, benefit from it. And then on day four, we focus in on leadership, resilience, and uh, self-care, which is uh, the Friday, and we wrap up with a bang. So that's uh, that's really much it. And um, you guys- Great job, uh, Joyce. Really done a fabulous job pulling this together. Oh my goodness, with all the drama that's been going on, not knowing where we're going to be, like we were scheduled for the first part of the year, we were supposed to be live and all our work from November till March, right, Tamina? Like yeah. till March, we were planning for a live session in California. Session. Yeah. And then we, we had to pause and we we're, were not quite sure, will it end? Will we come back? So you're waiting and watching. And then you realize, no, we are online. Okay, we are, we're going to be blended. And then, and then you're like, <laughs> right to the door. You're like, no, we're going to be fully online. So it's been quite a bit of a pivot we've had to do. But that's, you know, that's life. And we all are, have had to do it. So we're not the only one who had to do it. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys um, just a little bit. Um, Amina did some work on the... Um, she did some work on the speakers panel. So I'm going to put one up here so you guys can see what that is on the freebies. So those who have something to share for free, uh, she had done that. So what we want to do, did you guys get to take a look at the marketplace? Yeah. Yeah. Um, information through yeah. yesterday so this um so this person has uh victoria has an ebook can you guys see this mm -hmm. yeah and so i mean i did a little graphic and that will be something that people can just download for free in the um in the in the marketplace so it will be one other uh piece something like this so if you if you want to do something like that or if you have something similar uh, we can do, we can accommodate that. Uh, time is running out though. They only have Monday to get it all up. So um, uh, if you want to do something like that, that's an option as well. So, but yeah, I think she's, I think we've got a few of those ones going up. And then some people had um, items they want to have for sale in the marketplace. So those are also up and uh, yeah, so that's it. If you don't have any questions, then we'll go, we'll, we'll release our emails with the links for the summit where you can, um, where you can uh, get the four days. Um, we'll also send you a link to the agenda um, for the four days. And we also have a, a typed one as well. And then I think that was it. Was there anything else, Amina, that we had on the list? 
No, uh, I'm just going to um, follow up with the questions that they want us to ask uh, after their sessions and anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, just a follow up before your sessions, we would ask you uh, for a final um, if you have anything to put up on the marketplace or any freebie so that we can put up or any questions you want us to ask or any instructions that you want to send us. That's all I'll be following up with that. Okay. All right, I'll send that all to you um, today or on Monday. So thank you. Possibly today, so Amina can have- Yeah, I'll try to get it to you today. Yeah. yeah, ready to go uh, because um, yeah, Monday we're, we're starting live. So all hands on deck come Tuesday. So if we can get those on the weekend so she can at least um, yeah. get them set up. So Monday can be just execution. Sure. Um, yeah, Monday might be too late to get them to All right, I'll get it to you today. Yes. Thank you. And all right, reason, everyone. Um, oh, sorry, my email bounced when I tried to email Amina earlier, but I, I then emailed you, Joyce. Um, so if I can't email Amina, can I email it to you and then you could forward it? Of on. course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm I'll going to, I am not quite sure. I, I, a couple of people told me they emailed to me as bounce. So I'm going to send out, I'm going to use my other, my other email that seemed to be working. Uh, thank God for backup. <laughs> Perfect. Will, okay, thank you. I will do that. I'm going to actually get the emails out on that because just so that they actually get to where they want to go. So those are some last minute things because uh, we don't want people not showing up because they didn't get the email. So we're going to just go and do some switcheroo in our automation right now and make sure all of those things are working well. All Brilliant. right. Fabulous. Well, thank see you, next you week. everyone. I'm so glad to uh, see you guys and uh, thank you for making time to attend and uh, it's lovely to see you and, and uh, get excited. And don't forget now that the U.S. election is over, people are a little bit more relaxed. Yet. Well, the voting <laughs> is done and nobody has shot anybody that we heard of uh, <laughs> or or burn their neighbor's house or any of those scary things people would think in. hopefully um i think it's a blessing the way it's happening people are getting time to calm down before uh you know uh, everything is finalized but i think everybody kind of have a sense as to where it's going to go so maybe um let's remember to send out to our list in inviting them reminding them to join us because i think people are a little bit more receptive now okay you need to take care of yourself because those rich people running for presidency are well taken care of. <laughs> so let's encourage them. All right, everyone, take care. Thanks everybody, nice Thank to you. meet you all. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Amina, Bye -bye. did you want to stay on? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Bye. How did, uh, let me just uh, stop this recording.